Thousands of motorists a day use the Lodge Freeway to travel between Detroit and its northern suburbs. Kayla White was heading to work on the Lodge two weeks before Thanksgiving when her car was struck from behind. One of the vehicles that was involved in the, in the crash had actually overturned and had caught fire, and the person inside that vehicle was pronounced dead on the scene. White was driving a 2003 Jeep Liberty. She was eight months pregnant at the time. Her family's attorney says her death could have been prevented. They clearly knew that the location of the gas tank behind the rear axle posed a tremendous threat to an explosion. They knew it. Chrysler, after a four-year government investigation, issued a 2013 recall of nearly 1.6 million Jeeps, recommending Chrysler owners have dealers install a trailer hitch to protect the rear-mounted gas tank. White's family says she tried to do that, but was told the parts weren't available. This wasn't a priority for Chrysler either in warning people of the danger. Chrysler maintains its Jeeps are just as safe as other SUVs made at the time. A company official declined to be interviewed on camera, but expressed sympathy to White's family and said Chrysler has no written proof she asked a dealer about the recall. But an Associated Press review of consumer complaints filed with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration shows hundreds of people have reported delays in getting hitches since the recall was announced. It would be hard for anyone to match Chrysler's uh, total disregard of, their, of trying to get this recall done. NHTSA also has been critical of the pace of repairs, telling Chrysler in a letter last year to speed up distribution of the hitches. White is among at least 76 people killed in post-crash fires involving Jeeps with rear-mounted gas tanks. Her family says Chrysler should be held accountable and plans to file a lawsuit. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Southfield, Michigan.